over 98% of products ever launched on Amazon fail. So how do you wow. get yourself with a 2%, right? I'm not talking about 2%. That's the one that's only the best sellers. No, 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 it's not. Is the product selling over 10 units a day? P for product. What makes a product good? Then the P for perception. How do you make this product look good? And persuasion is uh, how do you persuade customers to buy your product? There is some science that you have to apply, but it can be done. So the two launches I just talked about, like from zero to 250 units in 14 days and zero to 100 in, in, in 20 days, but they skyrocket like without reviews. You need to find the right wording, the right pitch to sell the right product to the right people. And what is the front face of your listing? Your Amazon product tile. And your product tile is the four elements, your main image, your title, your stars, and the price. And that tile is the first thing that people see whenever, wherever they are on Amazon. That is your beginning of your sales pitch. You have to optimize it. And for that, you have to listen to consumers. So to listen to your consumers, Intellivy is the place to be. We simulate what these bigger brands do in the real world, and we simulate it in a digital environment. So let's check from our 10,000 feet perspective. Humans buy products, buying is emotion, but human behavior cannot be manipulated by sellers. Uh, but this makes selling a psychological game to win the trust of people in order to be able to touch on their emotions. So they are persuaded to put money on the table in exchange for a certain good. That is what was one thing that Amazon likes. They want to mimic the normal market behavior. And it's not that only like big brands have best products, but the things that they're favoring right now is something to be scared of. And if you cannot follow, that's bad news for you because you have to do the same things as they do. And that's why I think competition will actually decrease in the next couple of years. The top selling listings will fall off their pedestal. They will lose their position no matter how many reviews they have. How many of you guys have seen crappy products with a bestseller badge for months? You know, those days are over. It's the, the algorithm is getting smarter and smarter and smarter. So they know that if, if a product is shown X amount of times and they don't have enough clicks, they don't show it to the top of search. They don't show it to the top of the recommendation engine. And the recommendation engine has like far more positions than any keyword that you can find for your specific product. It's a super complicated engine. Everything you see on a page is there for a reason. CTR is super important in Amazon. If you don't get the click, you don't get traffic to your listing. We compare it always like if you have a bad listing, like a bad product tile, it's like having a physical store, like, you know, on top of a building somewhere, no traffic in front of it. You want to be on a place where the traffic is. If you have a good CTR, they put you on top of search. They put you in front of the Amazon marketing machine, which is the recommendation engine. You get lower cost per click. You get higher rankings. Amazon is going to feature your product if traffic comes from Google and they go to a listing, you see that bar on top of a page with like three products presented, you wanna have your product there, right? That's how you're going to thrive.